All right, hi guys, I'm back. This is part two of the um, two-point perspective boxes we were wearing, using. I transferred mine onto a separate sheet of paper so that none of these other boxes would get in the way or distract you from creating a roof line, okay? Remember, this video is to create a roof line so that it looks like a traditional house like we might see in a kindergartner's depiction of their house and what it looks like with their family outside. Um, so this is at eye level. You can actually do these at below eye level or above eye level as well. All right, the exact same procedures work. However, below eye level, you're gonna see more roof. At above eye level, you may not see hardly any roof at all. You may only see the peak of the roof, okay? So if we were doing it above eye level and we created the roof, you may only see this part and not ever get to see the part that goes this way, all right? So in order to make it simple and not all the extra stuff, we're gonna do it at eye level. The very first step is to create an X in the center of whatever wall you want to have the peak, okay? To make it easy, I'm gonna do the more square wall to the peak, all right? Just because it looks like a traditional kindergartner house that way to me. So I'm gonna do the X all the way. You don't have to, but that way that you guys know where I'm at, I'm gonna do the X from corner to corner. Make sure you line up your corners. If your walls are not parallel, your roof will not look correct, so you need to have parallel walls here for this line and this line, okay? Now that you've put your X in the middle, we're going to draw a line straight up through that that is still parallel to our original corner, okay? It must stay parallel because if you do not make it parallel, your roof is gonna look like it's leaning in or out, okay? So I'm actually gonna take my line a little bit further so I can show you more than one roof line, okay? You do not have to extend yours that far, I just wanna be able to show you more than one, all right? So if we were gonna do a really tall roof line, like say for a really tall church or a house up in Maine where it needs to be steep for snow to come off, we're gonna connect our line from wherever we choose to for the top of the peak down to the corner of our wall that we made the X on. I'm gonna go just a little bit further so I have room for an overhang later. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this corner here. Okay, so you should have something that looks sort of like this. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to create the roof line or the ridge of the roof. I'm gonna connect the very top triangle part to the vanishing point opposite of what the wall is pointing at. Because my wall is on the left and its walls are going to the left vanishing point, I need my roof line to go towards the right because it's gonna be parallel with this ground and this top of the box. So I'm going to connect to the vanishing point right. And I'm actually gonna extend it out a little bit past my point so it extends beyond my point up here of my roof. The reason I do that is so that I have room if I want to create an overhang and not just make it a plain salt box style house so it has an overhang, um, then I have room for that. Overhangs in houses are really good and they're very more of a modern look so that it helps protect against rain, lots of snow, and it actually apparently reduces your power bill. So it's important to do that. Once you have that line going all the way, we're not gonna think about this, we're gonna think about this line down here that would be parallel to this. Imagine this area right here is actually a square, but because we see it in perspective, it doesn't look like a square. So just like this square here, how this line is parallel to this line, I need this line to be parallel to this line. So I'm gonna line my ruler up with the edge, and I'm gonna gently slide it over and create 
my parallel line, which is also going to extend a little bit further past the roof line so that I have room for it to hang over the side of the house. Okay, so feel free to pause as you go if you are having a hard time keeping up with me. I like to keep them shorter because they are easier to upload that way and I haven't figured out how to pause. So because I want to have an overhang, I am going to make a line parallel to this one here so that I have an overhang. I'm gonna make my overhang a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better, okay? Your overhang is your choice. You must make sure that this line and this line stay parallel so that when I draw them, they stay parallel. This is where your roof attaches to the house. This is all of the overhang or the eaves of the house, okay? So, I can actually erase this little extra down here. Okay. And then in order to extend this line's roof line, I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to draw a line parallel to this line. Okay. So I'm going to start here at this point and I'm going to line my ruler up so it's parallel here a little more and then I'm going to draw a line down that is where my roof's going to hang over on this side and obscure some of this original triangle that we started with what's the second line you did? the second line I did is right here Okay. But that's the first one. So what is your it? Your first one was out far. Your first one should have been here. And then your next one was here. That's what this one is. That's what this okay. one right here So then is. this is going to go so it's too far out. parallel to this one. Like so that. this is too far no. out. Yeah, it's not parallel. Hmm. So Nicole, when she drew her first line here, it wasn't perfectly parallel. Yeah. So it made it hard for her to see okay. where this line would go. So I'm going to continue on. I don't need this line right here anymore because it's going to be hidden by my shingles or whatever creates my roof. Okay. And I can erase some of this extra here. Okay. And now for the bottom of this and the bottom of this part, I'm going to connect it back to this vanishing point. But before I do that, I'm actually going to extend this line out just a little bit past where it is so it has some overhang. The overhang here is not going to be as big as it is in the front because it's closer. It's further away and it's closer to the vanishing point, which means everything gets smaller. In order to create the bottom of my roof here, it must go to the vanishing point right. Okay, or whichever vanishing point you've been using for your ridge line. Okay, so I'm going to have mine hang well over. I'm going to connect it there. And then I'm going to erase all this extra stuff. The walls, these extra lines here. Okay, so there's one roof done. The other roof, I'm going to have it pitch back to connect to the vanishing point over here so that the overhang on this side is also there. Now, you have a roof. You can erase your line that goes straight up and down here. Okay, and this is where you can start to create cool things. Okay, you can add in the vents at the top. Uh huh. Yes, Nicole. Okay, so you have that, and you're gonna have this one. This guy has to connect back to this vanishing point okay. to create the roof line, and this one does too. And then you can erase all of your extra stuff okay. 
Don't erase that because you'll need to see where it connects to the building, okay? okay? So I can create little vent lines up here, like for the attic vent. I can create windows, whatever. If you create windows or anything like shingles, whatever side of the house it's on, all of the horizontal lines have to go to the vanishing points for that side of the house. So if it's on this side, it has to go to this vanishing point. Okay. The main rule for all of your two point perspective stuff that you must remember is all horizontals go to the vanishing point. I raise everything inside the roof, right? Mm hmm. All of the horizontals go to the VP. Okay? Whichever one it is. If it's on the left side of the, the corner, it's going to go to the left vanishing point. If it's on the right side of the original corner, it's going to go to the right. Anything that goes vertical, so all vertical, are parallel to the original corner. Now, the only time that that does not ring true is when we create our roof line, okay? Because we need them to create a triangle on our original line. However, your horizontals for the roof line still go to the vanishing point, okay? Your verticals for the roof line are parallel to each other, okay? So this one is going to be parallel to this one. If I could see this one, or I had a glass house, its version back here would also be parallel to it. I hope this helps you figure out how to create a roof. I suggest trying it on an individual box before you try it on multiple boxes. It can be done in multiple boxes. It does end up a little bit more difficult because sometimes you erase things that you need to use to create the roof line, like here. Okay, so I had a hard time with this one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And so I wasn't able to create the overhang on this one because I was missing stuff. Okay, so I hope that helps. Here again is the final version. And remember that we started from here.